I'm happy to be here. I just want to raise a couple of questions. And uh, first of all, it's lawyers and lawyer is very important, but you have to have a certain kind of lawyer if you're going to liberate our people. And you have to have a lawyer and lawyers who are innovative and can do things without the general acceptance of the 1%. Uh, most people don't like me to say it. I'm going to say it anyway. These law schools, all of them, the HBCU and the historically white law schools, are really not concerned about the kinds of things in the main we're concerned with. Uh, for an example, and I just stared them out like quick. Uh, we love uh, the president, uh, Barack Obama. He, 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 but he had to be Jackie Robinson, and he was the first. And so he had to come with something that was safe. And so he gave us the Affordable Care Act. Uh, he wasn't Jesus, uh, but, but he saved a lot of lives. We thank him for that. But the number one issue in America is citizenship. I don't care what you say. We still abound by what happened in 1787 and 1789. And we have to constitutionalize voting. Now, uh, the, the, the law schools know uh, the civil rights uh, cases. They don't talk about uh, the civil rights cases. Uh, they don't talk about uh, the slaughterhouse cases. And all of those cases coming from 19, uh, 1870 to 1890. But let, let's deal with it right quick, of course. And when I finish, all I want you all to do is to tweet that, 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 that you have a constitutional right to bear arms, all right? Guns kill. Voting heals, all right? So how are you gonna have a constitutional right uh, to uh, bear arms, but you don't have a constitutional right to vote? Well, let me explain it to you. They will first say that there are, you don't have an absolute right to vote that's nowhere in the Constitution. They're absolutely correct, but let's go back. 1066. William and Mary, William Orange, the glorious revolution where they went into England and they started this whole thing about common law, okay? 1215, the Magna Carta, when they went after John and the serfs and all. They put in common law voting. So from 12, at least from 1215 to 1789, 400 years, they were voting. So you come with a constitution, 1787, 1789, why are you going to put voting in there when white males with property could vote all along? That is crazy, but okay, let's, okay, fine, let's go farther. So then we have the, uh, we have the uh, three, uh, we have the Civil War, or the war, as you call it, and you come out of there with 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment. Now, I went to Howard University, and all of the people in Brown was on the staff there. Ain't no question in anybody's mind. Deal with history. It's in writing. We had professors from Brown, all those Warren Court cases. They graduated from Howard. How were we not the best law school? As a matter of fact, at ABA, started to put us on probation because they said we had too many civil rights courses. They taught us how to go into federal court. I don't go to state court, I'm a federal man. Okay, but the point I'm making, again, let's go back. You, uh, you're at 1787, 1789. One last thing, now, I need to give you so y'all know I'm teaching, okay? And this is something y'all ain't gonna hear no more. Y'all can talk about it if you want to, I'm teaching. Then you come, excuse me, excuse me, then you come, wait a minute. Then they will say, well, there's no absolute right in the vote. Well, uh, we have to look at uh, what's fundamental. And the first eight amendments are fundamental. And you, wait, 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 let's, let's bad up. Let, let's, let's bad up a little bit. We start out by saying that uh, uh, 
you, in the civil rights cases, you said privileges and immunity, even though the guy who wrote the amendment, he left initially, Wilson, initially Wilson said privileges and immunity of state and federal citizenship. But in the last draft, they left it out. And, that's the, and the Supreme Court jumped on it with all those civil rights cases and say you have a constitutional right to, to vote as such, at least privilege and immunity, applied to federal elections. So, and state law governs because that, that's their domain. So they built up the 14th, 15th century. Okay, now, lastly, after close to uh, 1870, 1880s, all of a sudden, you have Heller. Heller comes out, and Heller basically says, you have uh, gun control and a uh, constitutional right to bear arms, the Second Amendment. Heller. Uh, 2008, uh, uh, McDonald, uh, uh, 2010, Chicago. You have a constitutional right now, all right, to bear arms. How are you going to have a constitutional right to bear arms and you don't have a constitutional right to vote? Well, they said, well, the first eight amendments are fundamental and, and that's the, and that, what? Well, no, let, let's back up again now. Let's back up. You look at the Constitution holistic, and you go back to Griswold versus Connecticut and the right of private, and the numeral rights. Now, you take the Constitution, and I could give you 12 instances in the Constitution that pertain to some aspect of citizenship and voting. Then you take the Civil War Amendment, and they lied to us. Everybody in here been lied to. Say, 13th Amendment freed the slave. The 14th Amendment gave us citizenship, and the 15th Amendment gave us right to vote. It's a lie. No, no, it is. The 13th Amendment advocated initially universal freedom. Look at Lincoln and Charles Spielberg. Just look at the movie and see what happened. What happened was when they say universal freedom, the whites in the North said, oh, no, those Negroes, the colored folks, whatever you want to call it, ain't going to be. So they was against it. And only when they revised it to basically say that we're talking about freedom under law, then they passed it. Okay, but they took the 13th Amendment and isolated it. Then you come with the slaughterhouse case, civil rights cases, Reese, uh, 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 I have all kinds of problems. C-R-U-I. K S H A W crooked shank. I can't die. You know, I, I have issues. Uh, but but the point I'm making: all of those cases, basic Virginia versus Straw, all those cases deal with how they treated it. But they can't run no more because we got an absolute right, right, privilege and immunity applied to the state under Heller, okay, under Heller and under McDonald. So now all we need is you. That's all we need. Well, you need to start, it's a C, and, well, I get in trouble. The last time I had the big debate was after Katrina, and we went up to, they're having it right there, the, 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 right now they're having what you call a, a black caucus in Washington, D.C. I went up there, and I told them I was against uh, the Voting Rights Act, and uh, because it hadn't been, the, you know, a lot of stuff, oh, Jesse, well, uh, Chambliss, we have to have some victory. I said, but yes, they hadn't had hearing. Enough. Well, we, black people need to, okay, what happened? Shall become, they said the same thing. You hadn't had any hearings on, this is dated, and they, under Constitution. White folks have the Constitution. Black folk have some voting rights. You are out of your mind if you think the Constitution and, and state law our federal law are the same. They're not the same. And these people, they, 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 I'm not going to say, Lord, that they, Jesus, I'm not going to say something is wrong with their mind, what I am going to say. And you listen to be careful. Be wary of what Harvard said. See, if Harvard didn't say it and Yale didn't say it, it ain't said. That's a lie. That's all, because if you're waiting on Harvard and Yale and these elite law school to free you, it ain't going to happen. Now to him who's able to keep you from falling and to present you, you know, before the throne of grace, unblemished to the only God, to the only God who 
is magnificent. He is worthy to be praised, but more importantly, more importantly, he has authority. Almighty is in his hand. And I'm saying to you, law and religion go hand in hand. Don't let about fool you. Law and religion, they got a program right here, by the way. Law and religion go in hand. And you believe, have faith. And keep we will overcome, but only when we start working and start having a vision. The vision is yet for an appointed time. And in the end, in the end, we shall the vision is yet for an appointed time. In the end, we will overcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. I appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate it, but I'm happy y'all listen to me, because they blocked me out. They blocked me out. Even though I've been to the Supreme Court three times and won twice, and I've been to Adams, they know, but they don't invite me to the law school. They don't do it, because they don't want to hear the truth.